Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I can see now. Welcome, welcome, welcome in our broadcasting this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome all our beloved. Welcome, welcome, welcome all our beloved. I know that everybody, some are already in the church, some are on the road to the church, just like me, already leaving to the church immediately after this broadcasting. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. It's a wonderful thing just to be together with me in this little room just before we go to the churches. Bless you, Jeanette, bless you. Jeanette, bless you. Bless you, Jeanette, Mavis, bless you, bless you. I can see you that you're already there. Thank you, thank you. Jonah, jo Jonah, the Dwaba, come bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, may the Lord bless you, bless my viewers, all my viewers. I'm about to say something very, in a few minutes, it's Prophet T.A. Ralecholela, Prophet T.A. Ralecholela. I'm so full of joy and peace, happiness in my heart, feel the presence of God all over the place where I'm sitting right now. I know that God is about to do something. Mahalo, God bless you. Mapula, God bless you. Hallelujah. You can also tell us where are you streaming from so that we can see the places really that are listening. Bless your place. Bless your home. Bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And I want to say to all those who are watching me right now, I wish you a happy new year. We are just left with few minutes before before the, have the new year. We are just few minutes before we close the chapter of 2023 and uh, to the new year that is 2024. It was very, very important or imperative that to, to, I, I say to you a word and of prophecy this morning that I feel in my heart and what the Lord, I feel, He want to do. Where the Lord is leading us as the people, as a church, as a nation, and generally as the church of Jesus Christ universally. God is taking us to another place that we have never been before. I just want to say a few things. I can see many are coming in. I was just waiting for you. I was just waiting for you in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to Jesus, glory to God. Happy, 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 happy. I'm about to start right now in Jesus' mighty name. So feel full of anointing in my life. Spirit of God is moving upon me. I can feel God. I can feel God. Yes, glory to Jesus. Mary Zondo, I can see you. Vutari Valoya from Protea Clan Soweto. Apostle Mighty Man. Great, great, mighty man, great, mighty man, glorious. Jacqueline Tau, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, Jacqueline. Bless you, Sylvester, my man, bless you, prophet, bless you. Prophet of God, bless you. Glory, Mishagetio, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Mashaba, Kukiso, bless you. Just to be with the prophet in the morning, in the house, God bless you. Release spirit, spirit of discernment. I release spirit for 2024 that you are going to walk in a way that you have never walked before. Pray for the spirit that will open your eyes and you will begin to see things in a different way. You are not going to repeat the mistakes of yesterday. yesterday. 2024, this new year, it's going to bring such a mighty move of God to your life. Bless you. 
I'm, 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 I'm beginning to give you a scripture that's going to bless you, bless you. Remember that uh, tonight we are having a very great gathering here in the dear in Ferienachen. Great, 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 great. There are many people who are coming from different provinces. We are coming to celebrate, to celebrate it with all our hearts. You know, that last three years of COVID, we've been crying to God for a time like this. And the, the manner in which 2023, things were pulling hard to many people, many lives, many families. We felt very important that we need to celebrate lives, celebrate the little breakthrough that we have seen and celebrate churches that managed to navigate through such a terrible time in life. And today we are saying thank you, Lord, for being so gracious to our lives and our families. Lebuwe mudimu o mahudimong tato wa mara na waruna Jesu Kriste ya saka nga re tlhoela gore re harulwe ke ditautsa le fatsilena hungulungulu aga zange wa siyekele ukuthi sibhope kulomnyaka ka 2023 into bese ninye ngabe sapho bese impilo sethu sahlanga bezana nezinkinga ezingazi ukuthi sizophuma kanjani he mali a kaya banto and a kaya ma families were pulling very, very hard. But God was so gracious to our lives that even today we are still able to say, Lord, you are Jehovah God. As we are preparing ourselves to go to our morning services, I don't, I don't want to keep you long as we are going to our morning services today. I just want to read the scripture as you prepare yourself. The scripture that we find today, it is found in the book of Isaiah 43, verse 19 to 24, verse 18 to 24. It says, oh, verse, verse 19, verse 19 to, verse, chapter, chapter 43, verse 18 to 19 only. It says, verse number 18, do not remember the former things. Nor consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. My biggest text is the part that says, I will make a way in the wilderness. We speak about God who's speaking in the middle of famine, in the middle of uncertainty. When people did not know what to do, many things has happened in Israel. Many things has happened even to the priestly community, even to the prophets. Some of the prophets were hiding in the caves because things were so tough to them. And when things were beginning to happen, they thought that what was prophesied was not really coming to pass. They were waiting for the worst to happen on the planet Earth. Many times when prophecies have come to a nation in a time of celebration, now the fulfillment of those promises, when they come closer to the nation, they come in a way that many will think that is the end of a generation or they will think that we are dying. They will think that everything that God has said before, it has come to an end. It was like the same situation in Israel, the fulfillment of all prophecies that spoke about Israel as a glorious nation, Israel as the people who will experience the power of God. Now, all of a sudden, they find themselves like walking in the wilderness. They found themselves as a people who are abandoned by Jehovah God. They find themselves as the people that are worse than all other nations of the world. Many questions came to them 
He said, no, it can't happen like this. Now the Lord came through the prophet Isaiah and say this words, Do not remember the former things. Do not remember the things of yesterday. Why? They are instructed not to remember. They, are not, they must not remember the things of the old because the, old, the things of the old are about to be replaced by the things that God is doing in the now. Now, God was simply saying to Israel, I don't want you to be the slave of your past. I don't want you to be in the prison of your past. I don't want your past to deny you an opportunity to enter into what I'm doing now. Don't look around with your physical eyes and see the bad things that are surrounding you. Don't look at the clouds that are surrounding you and think that you are going to die in the cloud. Know that within that cloud, there is a rain that is about to bring your crop out. It is about to bring the fruits that you have planted for years and years. What men fear sometimes carry what men has expected. I have realized that a miracle, when a miracle comes, Miracle comes like what you fear, comes like an enemy. Many times when Jehovah or when times when Jesus was appearing to the disciple, he would appear in a, in a way that the disciples will be scared. Miracles will be scared when they happen because we have a mindset how God is doing things. Now when God do it in a way that is not Feeding our expectation, we begin to, to fear and think that we are dying. Or sometimes when the anointing begins to work through you, Praise the name of the Lord. When God is about to do something great in your life, the problem is we think that is the end of our life. We think that we are coming to an end. Now, let me give you the scripture before I give you an announcement for this year. This scripture says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of the old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now I'm totally talking to you right now. God is talking to your life. God is talking to my life. God is saying I'm doing a new thing in your life. You know things. You have been seeing things in God. Some of you, you are watching me. You have seen miracles happening through your life. But I say, what you have seen cannot be compared with what you are now going to see God doing in your life. If you think that you are coming to the end of your life, if you think that now you are discouraged and God is no more moving as he used to move in your life, I'm here to tell you that God is saying, I'm doing a new thing. It's going to scare you. It's going to scare your family. It's going to scare your children. It's going to scare your family. It's going to scare everybody who knows you. It's going to scare the people that you work with in the workplace. It's what God is about to do. Let me tell you as a prophet of God, I've been praying the last three months. I've been praying in the presence of God. When I look around, I see my eyes tell me that I see nothing like a prophet or Elijah when he sends somebody. I see nothing. I see nothing. I pray. I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. But eventually the Lord was telling me that my son, tell my people what I'm about to do this year. I'm going to do things that you are going to be dumb for some time so you cannot speak. I'm about to visit my, this nation. I've, I'm, go, I'm, I'm about to visit my church. Let me tell you about the church. Because God spoke me, to me about a church. God said, I'm going to bring a visitation that some of you thought it will never ever come again in your lifetime. 
God said, I'm going to raise people with anointing. I'm going to raise even people who have never attended even the Bible colleges. People who are not known. People whom their names are not considered that much. And those people will be filled with the Holy Spirit. They will pray uncontrollably. You are going to have a days when you'll see people even worshipping on the street and shameful. You are going to see people speaking in tongues on the street and shameful. There's a reign of the Holy Spirit that is beginning to come upon the nations of the world. People are going to put aside their, sometimes their program in their churches and they will continue to pray. They will forget what they were coming to do except to worship the Lord. There are days that are coming when people will enter into the church and when they open their eyes, they will realize that it's a week they have been in a church and they don't know exactly what has happened. I prophesied a word. I believe it's not my first time God revealed this to me. The media will come to the people. They will shoot. They will try to interview. Nobody will be able to can answer the media of the phenomena that is taking place in various places of the world. There will be little rains, little drops, and little pieces and of revival that will cover the people in various places. And suddenly, that cloud will come together and usher us into something that we have never known before. And let me tell you, God is going to raise evangelistic ministry that we have never seen in this world. Because evangelist will not be a special call for somebody again. It will be something that is going to be upon every and each and every person who received Christ will begin to preach as if it's 30 years he has been preaching in the ministry. As I preach, I say, talk to you right now, children will be preaching Christ as if they were taught. Children will be laying hands upon the sick on the street. Children are going to prophesy things that are there, that are going to happen in this time. They're going to enter the houses and, and, and heal the sick. They're going to enter into the park where people are relaxing and begin revival or crusades that the world has never seen. I live to, to, to see that. Let me tell you today, we have a service today at the dear plot 106. We are expecting the mighty move of God. We are expecting God to move in a way that I have never ever seen. We have got some speakers who are coming, sons that are coming, my sons that are coming from different places. Some they are coming to be part of this, hundreds and thousands of them, they are going to be part of this move. Many times I say to the people, be there when the anointing comes. Be present when the, move, the Holy Spirit moves. Don't send somebody. Be there when the mantle fall. Elijah will never, Elisha will never receive it if he was, if he was not present when the mantle fall. Come tonight so that when the mantle fall, you are part of what the Lord is doing. I say in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to plead with you. Come, God has an appointment, a divine appointment with your life. I plead with you, Mama. I plead with you, young man. God has an appointment with you today. It's a destiny that is waiting for you. It's something that is going to change you, change your life, change your destiny. Come, please. Come, please. We start from half past eight. The gates will be open at the plot. We will be starting to worship from nine o'clock. Just worship and listen to what God is saying. Listen to what God is saying about 2024. And I want to tell you, 2024 is going to be a great year for the church. I'm saying church, you must understand. We will go through a bumpy road as a nation. But the church is going to come out and stand tall in the face of this world. Some will look and say, hey, where were you? The church is going to walk tall. Churches that are not, no, no, the churches that were discouraged, 
people who are sitting in their houses not going to church there will be something like angels that push lord from sodom out of sodom there will be a holy pushing out of your house to go where god is if there is a crusade a revival a movement sometime there will be a pushing of the holy spirit pushing of angels that will make make us to understand that the time is very short all of us we must get closer to god and receive the holy spirit i pray for you today you must be part of the things that god is about to do in your generation oh lord whatever you do in this hour please don't do it without me in over 40 close to 40 four years 45 years i've been preaching this gospel i'm here to tell you well god will never lie god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man to turn away from the weight that he has spoken i want to say maybe be there when it falls i prophesy you mary paddy the lord is saying be part of what God is doing. I'm looking at you, Mary Zondo Mashagela. It is your night tonight. Beginning from this day, wherever you are, you people watching me at Gospel Fire Ministry, I will be with you just now. Mightily. I'm telling you, God is moving mightily. Come and join us tonight, 8 o'clock. We will be starting to open the gates and the music will be playing prophetic music that will touch you i can see i can see we'll be having reverend uh, bishop skitty will be here uh, bishop uh, apostle ratebe will be there and then i will there be there personally Ap apostle london will be there and many other servants of god will be there in the service to ensure that we we enjoy the presence of god i'm talking about the ones that will be maybe leading us and, everybody will be part of that service inside and outside the auditorium we shall be worshiping the lord and i pray for you that be part of what god is doing be part of the great move of god be part of the move of the holy spirit what do you say sir yes it's happening happening, happening. I, it's happening. happening i feel it i feel it i yes. feel talk wherever you are yes yes like you said god is doing a new thing but mm. god is doing a new thing and be part of the new thing that god is doing we are expecting to see what god is about to do in our lives this year yes 2024 is a year of new things yes amen yes amen. yeah we can't you can't we can't grasp it in the grasp it in our mind it's gonna happen amen. it's gonna happen yes. i'm ready right now i want to i want to go to to put a new uh, clothes yes. I'm going to go and shake myself because I'm ready. A few hours from now, Amen. I'm jumping into something that I've never seen. Hi, come on. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. I want to see you tonight. I want to see you tonight, those who are coming for the celebration. It's going to be such a sea of humanity. It's going to be an ocean. It's going to be a noise of the ocean. When we clap our hands and celebrate and welcome the new year, it's going to be something Amen. that we have never Amen. seen. Hallelujah. I know you are going to your church today. I want you to shake yourself a little bit and, and leave everything and forget about what happened in 2023. Let's call it over. The Lord said, don't remember the former things for look, I will do a new thing. May the Lord bless you as we are going to meet tonight at the dear plot 106 rose road from eight o'clock we'll be worshiping and uh, let's go come come with your with your, your your bride if you want to take your bride come here with your cricket if you want to shoot on the sky it's gonna be a wonderful time don't come thinking that hey Muruti doesn't want uh, crickets bring everything because we're gonna rejoice in that yard it's so safe we'll be safe in the place come and enjoy with us Prophet Tiral Holela. Hari kopa ne mo, hari te ane mo, hari mo ne mo di mo mo. Hi Papa, te koto kieu. Kita begi na le luna mo, nuno. Kita begi celebrate the greatness of our Father. 
Hallelujah. Everybody clap your hands wherever you are. Hallelujah. I want three people, four people to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just one, two. I don't want to say amen, amen. Amen. Praise God. I can see you by Reverend Scali, Apostle. Bless you there in the in, in Manquin. Bless you. Bless you. Little Pila. Little Pila. Mary Paddy. Little Pila. Mrs. Emily Ralkhulala. My wife. Hey, we say Little Pila. Sylvester Little Pila. We shall live in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory. Ah, now I can see many stars are coming. Glory to God. Glory to Amen. God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord Almighty is with you. Amen.